Do you know which wine pairs perfectly with fresh calamari? Yesterday, Wine Scribble's own organic fisherman, Vasilis, brought us freshly caught squid. There is only one response to a calamari feast. Bring out the bubbles and make sure you stick around until the end for my bonus bit of wine trivia about Prosecco cocktails. Hey tasters, this is Annabel McVine. Welcome to the Wine Scribble YouTube channel, the home of Wine Applied. We have two 10 euro bottles of Prosecco to compare, a Piccini DOC Extra Dry, which in sparkling wine language actually means slightly sweet, and a Tinazzi Valdobbiadene DOCG Brut, which means dry. We wanted to find out which would taste best with the calamari feast we prepared for lunch. Let's jump right in and talk about the squid, the salads, and the sauces we paired with our Prosecco. The fried squid rings were fresh and buttery soft, marinated in buttermilk and flavored with salt, pepper, and paprika. I used the recipe from a favorite blog. The link is in the description below. Alongside, we had two dipping sauces. One was homemade tartar, and the other a blended roasted red pepper and mayonnaise dip. On the table, there was also a bowl of black olives, a salad topped with walnuts and sliced pear, and fresh black-eyed peas with mint and feta cheese. Now let's discuss my wine choices for pairing with this meal. First, the extra dry Piccini Prosecco. This has a really great nose. There are aromas of melon, pear, apple, and a hint of apricot, which give this wine a really summery scent. It tastes crisp and refreshing, a little sweet, and the light mousse is extremely pleasant on the tongue. The Piccini is light bodied and has a fast finish. At 11% alcohol content, this is perfect for a lunchtime tasting. Our second wine is the Tinacci Valdobia Dene. This is dry, with very delicate aromas of peach and pear. The mousse is fine in the glass and leaves a lasting, fresh tickle on the tongue. Like Piccini, the Tinacci Prosecco is 11% alcohol and has a playfully light body, but the Tinacci has a slightly longer finish. This comparison was especially fascinating. Though both wines pair perfectly with our butter-rich calamari rings, each bottle played well with different side dishes. The slightly sweeter Piccini loved the walnut and pear salad, matching perfectly the nuttiness from the walnuts and the pear aromas. The Piccini also worked very well with the red pepper mayonnaise sauce, lightening up the throaty richness and making friends with the smoky fruitiness of the roasted red pepper. On the other hand, the more savory tinacci made friends with the saltier elements of the meal, the tartar, the feta cheese, the olives, and the fresh bean salad brought out the wine's shy fruit, allowing the sweeter notes of the wine to emerge by contrast. The tinacci prosecco also really came to life when we spiked the paprika battered squid rings with a spritz of fresh lemon. Just this once, I am tempted to call this a draw. I would happily taste either of these wines again with a fresh calamari lunch. If absolutely pressed, I would say the Tinacci has a slight edge over the Piccini in terms of acidity, adding to the crispness of the tasting experience. But whichever way you call it, Prosecco and Squid are a match made in culinary heaven. Wine tasting is loads of fun. If you want to try it for yourselves, and I can't recommend the experience enough, grab a copy of our free PDF, the Wine Scribble Tasting Sheet. It will empower you to take sensory notes while you taste wine. And for more pairing videos, check out our ever-growing wine and food pairing playlist on YouTube. You may have noticed that sparkling wines have unusual mushroom-shaped corks and that you never see one with a screw cap. If you find corks and screw tops fascinating, we have a video that helps you understand the significance of corks versus screw caps. I have left the link in the description below. And now for my bit of trivia about that cheeky favorite cocktail, the Prosecco Bellini. 
Did you know that the elegant Bellini cocktail was invented in Italy in 1948? Giuseppe Cipriani, the founder of the original Harry's Bar in Venice, named it Bellini because the delicious pink colour reminded him of the toga a saint is wearing in a 15th century painting by Giovanni Bellini. I find it just a little bit ironic that a cocktail that is guaranteed to put everyone in a devilish mood has such saintly provenance. So tasters, if you like this video, let us know. Click on the like button below, share it with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel now. And remember, those who drink get drunk, those who taste feel sublime. I will see you on the next video. Do you know what the biggest problem is about uh, making a video with sparkling wine? It goes flat before I get to taste it.